Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're gonna do a bacon breakfast bomb on the Weber kettle. Stick around. Okay, so for our breakfast bacon bomb, what we're gonna do is we got a pound and a half of our homemade breakfast sausage. It's in a one gallon bag. We have a pound of bacon. We have a, about a quarter of an onion chop, quarter of a green pepper, three slices of bacon, and some mushrooms, and a little cheese we're gonna stick on here. Easiest way to do this that we found is take your gallon bag, put your pound and a half of sausage in there, you can use any brand, and just roll it out to the edges. And this is gonna make it the perfect size for your baking pot. You get it a good even thickness. It'll be nice and square. So we're gonna set this aside, and I'll show you how I get it out of there in a minute. And we're going to start building our, our bacon weave. Lay your, all your bacon slices out one way to start. So we're going to go seven this way. And then I'm going to take and fold back every other slice of bacon. I'm going to slice in here. Hold it over. Now you're going to pull back the opposite. Just repeat, go to the opposite ones again. Okay, so we had a little bit of a rookie mistake. I put this bacon right down on the cutting board and I meant to put it on a piece of parchment paper. Uh, it flipped over. We were able to save it, uh, but it's all good. This is what it's going to look like when you're done making the weave. And what we're going to do now is lay another piece of that parchment paper on top like that. And we're going to take a pair of scissors. And you want to cut it down the seams. Sausage right on top of this. What did this look like? So now, what are we putting in this bad boy? We got three eggs scrambled. Mushrooms. You don't have to use all this stuff. Some more bacon. I mean, everything's better with bacon, right? That's right. Green pepper and some onion. Next, we have some cheddar cheese. We will just put, just put a little bit on there, and I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of Boar's Night Out double butter garlic. Now, here's the tricky part. Try 
Cook that right down on top of the seam of that bacon as it lays. And we're going to put it on a little wire rack we picked up. Today we're going to cook this bacon bomb on our Weber kettle at about 275 for two hours. And we'll probably glaze it at the end with some of our barbecue sauce. Yeah, don't it? Sure does. So we're going to go ahead and dump this. We're going to try to keep half the coals over here, half of them over here. And we're gonna cook our bacon bomb right in the center. Okay, so we're right about 300 on our Weber. We're gonna go ahead and set it. We're using this wire rack so we can spin this easy. We're going to go right in between both sides of that charcoal that we have in our baskets. So the charcoal on this side, charcoal on this side, and we'll keep spinning it to get it done. We want to take this up to at least an internal temperature of 165. Uh, and again, we're going to cook it between 275 and 300. So for our, whoo, look at that, oh, yeah. our bacon bomb. That thing is looking good. And in the meat, we're 202. Go down deeper. Yeah, we're running 202 right through it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of sauce on top of this. We're going to let it set up for about 10 minutes. And we're going to go ahead and pull this off and just let it rest uh, so we can slice it open. Looks amazing. Yeah, does. Okay, we got some original Japanese barbecue sauce we're going to put on here. Kind of let it, it's a little bit of a thinner sauce, just let it get gooey down over top of it. Just a little bit more. We'll let this set up. Man, that smells good. We'll let this set up for about 10 minutes, so we're going to pull this thing off, let it rest. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since we let this set up our sauce. We're going to go ahead and take this off of here. Looking good. Uh, nice and crispy. Got a hitchhiker. Got a hitchhiker. Took a great with us. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut our breakfast bacon bomb. This thing work, looks good. Just gonna slice right down through the center. Let's see what we got. Spin this open. Oh yeah. Damn, does that look good? Mm, smells like an omelet. That thing looks fabulous. Yeah, it does. Cheese. Cut, try to cut a small slice of this. This is so nice. Flip this off. You see everything we put in there. You got some of the onions, some green peppers, the cheese, some little bit of extra bacon. 
try to get a bite here of we'll get you some of that. everything. Man, that looks great. Mm. My lord, I think I just found my new favorite thing for breakfast. There you go. Man, is that good. It really does taste like an omelet wrapped in sausage and bacon. It's really good. If you all like this video, make sure you check out these two, and we'll see you next week. Get you some. Help yourself, man.